everybody to another episode of the Ideas Exchange presented by Inexpress Podcast. I am your host, Paul Castleberry. This is the podcast where we talk about tech, we talk about marketing, business, being an entrepreneur, franchising, franchisors, anything we can throw in between all those different kind of categories. We talk about that here on this podcast. And my guest today, we're, we're both pretty pumped to dive into this subject because we, we nerd out about it. Uh, but my, my guest today is Nicholas. Nicholas, welcome to the podcast. Hey, hello, guys. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, so Nicholas, yeah, it's it's a pleasure to have you on. Uh, you know, when we did our discovery call, uh, we were nerding out on this subject a little bit, and we were both pretty pumped about it. Uh, but before we get to that, tell everybody a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you're from and, and what you do. Yeah, sure. So hello, everybody. On my side, my name is Nicolas Mwanga. I'm 20 year, 28 years old. Um, I'm from uh, Paris originally. Uh, and then I started to travel all around the world uh, since uh, two years ago in order to discover because we have the chance with the company we created with my partner to be able to work remotely. So uh, basically what we the company we created is Sales by Tech. Uh, the goal of this company is to help mainly SMEs, and we have um, a focus also with franchise. And I will also go deeper on this uh, aspect, I think, in uh, in the in the podcast. But uh, we are currently working with Inexpress actually on the SEO uh, aspect mainly. But finally, to find on site clients and also a new franchisee to join uh, the network. So we launched the company in 2019. It's uh, around four years uh, this year. And uh, we're currently helping like uh, more than 150 uh, companies, mainly in France. Uh, the company is based in France. We are already today 10, 10 people working uh, in the company, but in France and everywhere in the, in the, in the country. And we have some clients also as well that are based uh, in in the United States, for instance, or in Canada also. Uh, we have some clients also in Europe, in Switzerland, and uh, uh, other countries such as Germany. Uh, but we're mainly based in France so far and with uh, SMEs. That's that's awesome to hear, man. Started in 2019, got 10 employees, and you're just you're all over the globe. That's that's really cool. Congrats yeah, on you know, that. Thank you very much. Thank you. So much. you you touched on the subject we're going to talk about. SEO, search engine optimization. I think some people hear that and they're like, oh, that's that's outdated. We know that's a cute thing that you got to pay attention to. But when you and I were talking, we, we said it's, it's still relevant today. Uh, and I think that's kind of where we should start is when you hear that, that SEO is still relevant today. I mean, your whole company is based on that. What, what are your thoughts on, on all of that? Let's start there. Um, I think that SEO is more important today than it uh, never been because it's really in a world that we get more and more digitized is the same thing today working on seo is the same than before to have let's say your uh, building or your main shop uh, outside and meaning you want this shop to be seen by uh, your 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 potential clients you know and it's the same with seo but we're talking today with website and today website are the digitized uh, shop for every company so mm. if you're using your website in a way and i think that everyone here that will uh, listen to this podcast is using a website or will use a website in the future then you need to ask yourself about seo and how you can implement some uh, uh, things uh, about this topic yeah, uh, that's a great way to put it. That, but yeah, everybody's got a website, right? And we we put a little time and energy into that. There's always some optimization that's got to go on there, uh, and SEO is part of that. Um, the the other thing I run into when I talk to people about SEO is, you know, maybe they'll spend a good solid one day on doing some SEO for their website or or whatever the case is, and then they kind of set it and forget it. Yeah, it did. Bad strategy. What what are your thoughts there? It's terrible strategy because <laughs> SEO, SEO is really something that you work through the time. And the fact there is two topics here. The first is the more you're going to work on it, the earlier you're going to get to it, the best it's going to be. And also it one is going to be depending on your competitor as well. What are the behaviors on the SEO aspect? So let's say if your competitors are not doing SEO, then you have like a lot of room uh, in order to be positioned before them because it's getting harder to get to a point when there is already someone there. And that's why also we recommend to every uh, field of activity to assess what are doing their competitors and then saying, okay, we're going to start our SEO so strategy on our, on our hand. And the other aspect is that even if you start to work on SEO and let's say you get 
the first position on our keyword and we're going to get deeper on, I think, on the specific topic. But let's say you're well positioned. If you stop doing something, then your competitors going to gonna maybe, if they work on it, uh, replace you or replace you on the, on the main uh, keyword that you, you're targeting. So SEO is really something that it's hurry to start and it's important not to, uh, to, to stop. But then, mm. obviously, uh, it will be mainly a lot of efforts at the beginning and then you will be able also to uh, reduce uh, the cost of uh, of this effort in the future because it's easier with the time but like everything that you can do i, I think and uh, and i guess but um, that's why it's really important not only to start and doing one day but to continue on the on a long term basis in order to consolidate also your your results yeah yeah well say you just reminded me of a youtuber that i follow who said it's going to be harder tomorrow than it is today to get started. Exactly, exactly. And that's I think really, that's what uh, we're talking about, right? So really, um, yeah. starting and not stopping, how much time do we have to dedicate to this? I think when people hear SEO, dedicate time to it, they're thinking, is it a 10 hours a day type of thing? <laughs> or like, how much time do we have to dedicate to optimize that? I think there is two topics here. Uh, based, based on the company you're going to have, if you're independent or if you, you can then uh, have someone working on it, the best is to have someone uh, on, a, on, a, on a position, you know, that will work on a daily basis every day uh, on the topic because the topic is really large. Uh, mm. We're talking about technical aspect. There is semantic aspect. Uh, like the, the duties linked to this, to this uh, part is really, really large. It's one of the most largest uh topic i think in digital marketing today so um, it depends then it depends it depends in terms of budget in depend it depends also in terms of times and people that you have indeed so at the beginning you can definitely start with one hour a day and there is also something to do at the beginning that is just uh, be sure that your website is well organized and well based in order that uh, all the search and en search engine can go through it and are like happy with it because are your webs is your website uh, like well based in order to answer to going to Google for instance uh, requirements. This is the first topic and is the technical aspect, let's say, in topic that you have in the SEO. But then after this, you can decide to say, okay, I will uh, uh, target some keywords and do one article a, a week, which is pretty good because it just it's not about how much efforts you're gonna do one day. It's really about what is your strategy on the long term? And can you mm. continue to do the same in the future? Because let's say you start with 10 articles, you're really motivated. I think we all like this <laughs> uh, on some topic, you know, not only SEO, but you're really motivated. You're like, okay, I have 10, 10 articles this month. I'm going to do this. But if at the, 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 the next month you do, you do only one article or you stop, then there is no point for that. So it's better to have those 10 articles and to say, okay, so I have my 10 articles for the next 10 months. And it's already mm -hmm. a good a good thing to do. And you will see that you will get results uh, on a long-term basis. Obviously, if you're matching the, the right uh, and you have the right strategy, it's another topic, but then you will get results here. That's why it's really important to do with what you can do, but to continue on that. Yeah, yeah. Something you said too, I think is pretty important to kind of touch on is don't come out at a hundred miles an hour right away. Exactly. Right. Like have a strategy in place, go at it a little, you know, line upon line. Right. Um, exactly. so let's let's talk strategy for a minute. So what what would you say constitutes good strategy? What's bad strategy? Kind of a broad question, maybe, but let, let's see if we can dive into that. Yeah, sure. I think there is some example. Like a bad strategy will be. You just go, you want to create content. You're like, okay, let's say, I don't know, you have a company that is uh, in, uh, you, 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 you're selling even marketing, you're a marketing agency, let's say. And you're like, okay, I know the topic, the hot topic I think is SEO. So you're going to get and make article on, on the topic. What is SEO, for instance? Uh, maybe it's a good article, maybe it's a bad article, but you don't know. And then you're going to create some content that is maybe not relevant because you need not only find a good topic, but you need to be sure that it's the topic that your viewers want to see and want to read about. Uh, so that's why there is a real study to do. And sometimes you don't do it. You just go like, okay, I heard that SEO is about uh, writing articles, post to have a blog, uh, to put content, to have long pages, you know, for to yeah. describe your products. And you're going to do it, but you're not going to optimize. So maybe it's going to work, but there is really a study that you need to do at the beginning that will help you first to to find and to, to, to focus on what is what you need to improve on your website itself and then what 
is the strategy and the content you can create based on the, let's say, the area you're working uh, in. Indeed. Yeah. So organization, I think, is kind of a key thing. There. Exactly. It's kind of a roadmap that you create, uh, and at the beginning, you need to yeah to to focus to have maybe one week, two weeks. It can depend, but to be sure that okay, my website is well done for the it's well done for the for the for the search engine. I'm mm -hmm. sure that the search engine won't uh, have trouble to go to to my uh, to my website the first topic we can talk about is a sitemap for instance a lot mm -hmm. of websites don't have doesn't have sitemap and if you don't have a sitemap you can do a lot of articles whatever you want to do your website won't be ranked on google because it, the, the crawlers from google won't be able to go to your website or will take too much time and then you will be uh you will have like less traffic because of that so you're going to be penalized because of this so there's some topics you have and you have the technical part and then you have the semantic part about keywords what are the keywords you can focus on based on two things are your competitor what are your competitors doing on that and what are the traffic you can get on some keywords so let's take an example if i taking seo on the on on, on so you have engine for that you can say okay there is 1000 person and people typing this every month and you can say okay maybe i can position myself because if i'm the first on this request knowing that google the first link is 90 percent of the visitors mm -hmm. and click on this then you're going to get 900 pe people going to your website if you manage to, to to go and to be ranked on this uh, on this keyword so this is basically what you're gonna ask, ask yourself and it's not easy obviously and that's why also you're gonna uh you, you will try to find let's say keywords that are going to be easier and you have also you have also some tools that can help you know if it's yeah. difficult or not to be positioned and it will depends also on your on your area and the field of activity obviously. yeah yeah well said uh so tools that are in place i know google adwords is is a tool that the, the digital marketing folks are, are familiar with um exactly. i myself yeah. have toyed around with it and one of the things I noticed is you got your, you know, your high, medium, low search volumes on, exactly. on words. And I think one of the mistakes that people do is, well, I'm just going to go for all high volume keywords. It, bad strategy there? Or, or what do you think? It depends because the fact, for example, it's a good example. Google, Google AdWords will be mainly for SEA. So Google going to be in a different, like they won't help you, let's say, because the, the what is the goal for Google is to make you put a lot of money. And the yeah. fact is that the high volume is where everyone wants to be. So mm -hmm. obviously it's going to cost more. And when you talk about SEA, which is kind of different, but the, 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 the logic is the same on this aspect, meaning I want to focus on some keywords and I'm, I'm going to pay for it. This is SEA. SEO is more, I can be on the same uh, keywords, but I'm going to work on it with other strategy rather than to pay and just to be positioned by Google in a sponsorized uh, link. Yeah. And uh, high volume can be interesting, but then it's be, it will be probably, probably difficult. So meaning for SEO is gonna be costly and for SEO is gonna take maybe a lot of time and effort as same. So at the end, even if you don't really pay, if you're doing this on your side, you're paying also the cost will be, will be a lot uh, important, a lot more important on the on the on the SEO part as well because you're gonna take more time to be positioned on the on this keyword and maybe you won't uh, make it. Yeah, that's why yeah. you need also not only use only this criteria but to connect to other type of criteria such as it is this difficult to be positioned and it is link really link on my core business. Is it really important that I'm doing? Uh, I'm I'm going on this keyword, or maybe I can I can find others that are maybe low, medium volumes, but really relevant for me for my core business, and also with uh, with a not not that much difficulty to be positioned and rank on. Yeah, yeah. So, so what are some other bad strategies that uh, you would you would warn people about that are just coming into the space and trying to tackle this? Um, I think you have a topic for backlinks. Backlink is one of the main topic as well. Uh, you know, meaning for for maybe viewers that don't know this, it's, it's when you're gonna have other websites putting link to your website on their own, mm. and this helps for two. One main reason is for the domain authority. So an authority is how your website is recognized as 
a proper website on the on all the, 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 the web. And right. Google will assess this. And if you have a website that have a good domain authority that's gonna put the link to your website, then it helps to increase your 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 reputation, your own authority. And that's why, and that's what we call backlinks. And the goal is to have backlink on good website. Let, let's take an example. If you have, I don't know, the post uh, that is putting a, a, a link to your website, then the post as it is known by everyone and then on Google as well, it's gonna help you increase your, your domain uh, authority. But then you have other type of website that can sell links and there is something that everyone is doing and spe mm -hmm. SEO specialists will always do this way because it's a way to do it. It's to buy links, but you need to be sure that you, you're buying proper links because sometimes you will have links and indeed you're gonna buy maybe, I don't know, 300 links and you will see results in terms of traffic, but in terms of authority in the future, you're gonna have an impact. So it's really important on, on, this, uh, on this aspect to be sure that you're going on the right uh, website. And there is other type of strategy rather than just buying links in order to you know find uh, find proper proper backlinks and also in your backlink strategy it's always better to have backlinks that will link to your core business because let's say you are uh yeah on a digital marketing but you have backlinks from a field of, of activity that is not linked to it, it has nothing also to strange, business, you know right? nothing to do yeah with the business and a lot of companies are doing this because it depends also with who you're working and because backlinks, it's specialized people that are doing it and they want to go fast sometimes. So that's why it's really important to ask what is the web, what are the websites you're gonna uh, you're gonna want to position my my my, my to have link from, et cetera, et cetera. This is this is also really important. Yeah. So it's safe to say that all of this can can bite you if you don't do it in yeah. the right way. Right. Sure, sure. That's why you need a, a trusted partner if you work with a partner. Otherwise, you need really to study, study like precisely what you're doing on this uh, on this side. And then sometimes you have also some website. You have also some Facebook groups when you can say, okay, I'm buying links, or they can say, look, 200 links to uh, 200 website where you can buy links. But to really sure, to be really sure, okay, these are the the links. And you have, of course, on the Google Analytics platform, for instance. Um, a, a feature where you can see where your website is ranked and you can delete and uh, and, and, and make a, um, let's say if you're a report, if you don't want to, to have your website on. So you can like pick and choose, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. A trusted partner like Nicholas, right? For instance, for instance, <laughs> for instance a trusted one. partner like Nicholas. Nicholas. There you go. We made a plug for you. <laughs> we, we 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 hope that we we do uh, we do this properly and we try because it's really important in terms also in, of reputation and branding that uh, you're doing proper things because you don't really know where you can end on uh, mm. and this is a really critical topic for instance google when you do ads there will be also where you want uh, your ads to be uh, yeah. the partner networks it's always the same to go deeper also where you you're, you're going to go because the web is uh, <laughs> large and uh, there is yeah. a lot of uh, part of it it can be hard to navigate for sure. Nicholas, mm -hmm. be believe it or not, we're coming up on the end of our time. Uh, and I wanted to leave it, leave a little bit of it uh, towards the end here to just kind of open it up to you and uh, share any other thoughts you have on this subject or any other things you want to plug for, for people listening. Sure, maybe something for the future. The first thing uh, that maybe uh, people have in mind or not, if they are using analytics, is there is a migration coming from the Google Analytics to Google Analytics 4, uh, which is also on a topic on a GDPR, so for, for people in Europe, it's important now today there is a real topic about how you store the data and Google is struggling a bit because they're not really respecting the, the let's say the requirements from the, the, the authorities in Europe, the European authorities. So this is the first topic to have in mind. What is the uh, storage and what are your partner on the SEO aspect, meaning also the solution you're using. Uh, and then also as well, yeah, to really have a roadmap and start to work on the technical aspect, then on the semantic aspect, and never forget the technical aspect because we, we have a lot of clients when we, we come in and they're like, yeah, my website is, is nice, look at it. And then you have, a, a, let's say, a bad uh, load, load, um, load speed uh, on mobile, for instance, or even on desktop. So there is kind of requirements, some requirements that are important, and it's really important to start on it, to focus and to like say, if you, you, you're able to work one hour on a day, daily basis, you continue this way and then you try to increase and not doing what we said uh, to a lot of at the beginning and then to stop uh, and it's in the same in terms of budget. Well said. Yeah, well said. Nicholas, thank you so much. Where can people get a hold of you? What's, what's your company's website? I'll make yeah, a plug sure. for all that. 
Oh, uh, sure. They, they, we can contact us on uh, salesby.tech. Uh, that is our website. But if you type sales by tech on the on the, on the Google, you will find it. I hope if, uh, if, <laughs> if you did your job right, right? <laughs> yeah, if we did our job correct. And uh, and then I can share. There is my email address. It's Nicolas at salesby.tech. So if you have any advice, any questions, we have like a free um, email uh, mailbox where you can ask questions and we answer. Today it's human, and we are starting to use AI to do it. It's kind of also interesting how we can nice. we try to innovate. So if people want to send, they can send at hello at sales by tech or my own address, Nicolas at sales by tech. And we're going to answer every question on SEO, but we have also the topics that we can cover, of course, like SEA, we talk just a bit about it and how like you also merge SEA and SEO because it's a real topic. We didn't have the chance to talk about it, but uh, it's also something that sometimes people are asking, like how do, do I do only SEA or SEO actually? The, the answer can be both and uh, yeah. and uh, it's also really interesting so if there is any question they can uh, reach us uh, on this uh, email address very good well maybe that's an episode for the future right but yeah sure yeah. if you want to do a part two it would be a pleasure also uh, if it's a topic that is uh, interesting for for the viewers and they want to know more about it absolutely well i love ending these with a random question because it's it's fun i think <laughs> you, you mentioned traveling around the world where yeah. what's been your favorite uh place to travel to so far it's tough tough to tough to say huh? tough to say but if i have one that were really amazing is mauritius uh that where i was uh, in in during the winter for europe so in uh, december and uh, january and honestly it's one of the most beautiful place i have the, uh, the chance to to see uh, you have a, a cave that is inside it's kind of uh uh, illusion but you have a cave inside the water itself so you can take an wow. helicopter and to see from the top how it is and as there is lagoon around the the, the island because it's one of the most unshine island that uh, uh, is existing on the world so the the like the the the, 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 the ecosystem that is there is uh, is quite amazing so i can recommend this one obviously there is other place but it's one of the the most beautiful i've seen yeah i'll put it on the so list far. i'll so put far. it on the yeah. list <laughs> Nicholas, thank you so much for your time, for your, uh, your information and your knowledge. It's very much appreciated. And I, I got a lot from this and I hope our listeners did too. So thank you. I hope too. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. And uh, it would be a pleasure to be uh, here again if needed. Awesome. Thank you, well, thank you so much. Take care. You're welcome. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for listening to the Ideas Exchange podcast presented by InExpress. If you enjoyed this episode and you want to show us some love and support, please share it out with others on social media or leave us a rating and review. If you want to know more about what InExpress is, visit InExpress.com to find out what they do and how they can help you and your business. That's I-N-X-P-R-E-S-S dot com. Thank you so much and we will catch you in the next episode.